the teachings of the sunflowers and your manifesting success. The law of attraction has many faces and sparkling facets like a precious diamond. The law of attraction and manifestation works all the time whether you are aware of it or not. Some can manifest whatever they want and desire in life, some unfortunately struggle all the time to meet ends and to keep up with ever-increasing problems, worries and failures. It is so because the ones who succeed effortlessly are using the universal laws of manifestation to their advantage and the others to their disadvantage. The secret to unlimited wealth in your life is to learn how to create deliberately what you desire and dream of in your life. Luckily, you have come to the right place to learn how to manifest success. How would you like to master the secrets of the laws of manifestation and become a co-creator with the universe? Would you like to see and experience your dearest and deepest dreams come true? Do you want to learn how to wish for something, smile and watch the life of your dreams simply unfold before your eyes? If you said yes I want all of that, then read on and let all your senses, your heart, mind and soul learn from the sunflowers. I call this most amazing experience the I manifestation teachings of the sunflower CEO. Because you know, sometimes the universe has mysterious ways of teaching us lessons for our own good so that we learn how to use the universal laws with purpose, faith and get the kind of results that we had been only dreaming of in the past. Years ago, I had a burning desire to have sunflowers in my garden and as I began to see tall and wonderful flowers in my Mindy's eye I bought seeds even though my gardening skills were not high in that time. Nevertheless, I trusted in nature and chose a nice patch under my window to plant the seeds for I wanted to see the flowers every morning. In my great excitement I forgot the bag of seeds outside and the birds took their share out of it leaving but a small quantity. On the top of that, there were signs telling another story, some mysterious animal transported seeds away and lost some along the way to the gardeny end. Days went by and a feeling of excitement and expectancy spread in my heart and body until I could see the emerging little plants. My excitement knew no end and soon enough I contracted the habit of observing the young plants which grew relatively fast as we had a sunny and mild spring. Things went well and I attached lots of hope to my sunflowers until their heads were so big that I expected them to bloom and open up their beautiful faces the next day. In that night I couldn't it sleep well because I was impatient to see my flowers blooming, I could clearly hear it rain for hours. Early in the morning, I went barefoot to the garden, so great was my impatience and imagine my surprise and disappointment when I discovered that what seemed to be a whole army of hungry snails climbed up to the flowers' hearts and simply ate them. My frustration then equaled my previous excitement. The eyeflower sea were still standing tall but they would never bloom, I was devastated. In the shockey's aftermath, I decided I had to plant new seeds, which I did immediately while realizing at the same time that the problem was still there, the snails would return and eat up my efforts and joy or so I thought about it at the time. In a second, I declared war upon the nasty snails and did not leave any stone unturned until I found enough information on how to keep them away from my flowers.